Hi, welcome to Arch Merch 6.4.1. I just made a tutorial about Arc theme Colora, but I was then on Arch Merged. So I'm gonna make a tutorial on Arch Merge now. It's gonna be the same, and that's my test as well for me. Will it run on Arch Merge as well? What it's all about? Well, first off, you don't need to do anything. Why am I saying that? Because if you want to change your theme, your appearance, we have lots of arc themes, a lot of arc themes in there, and we've created them already. So a yellow one, a red one, a blue one, and so on and so on. I've counted, there are 44 uh, arc themes. But even so, you might say, look, I have this wallpaper, and so on and so on, all the arguments to make one arc theme more. So you can, there's no problem. There is a script you can use, and we're going to show you how to use it. All right, we're off. Let's kill this one and let's get to cracking. You type Arc Colora theme and you Google, and then you find Eric Dubois Arc theme Colora. All right, you dismiss this thing, and all you need to have is eight scripts more or less. All the rest is, is well, how to manage GitHub. So one, two, three, till eight, that's are the scripts we're gonna run. And in, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, depending on your CPU time, you'll have a new art team with your color. And there are 16 million colors to choose from. You can choose it quite easily. Just start typing with a hashtag and then some color, which is uh, a, a, an existing color, something like, I don't know, just typing the same all over again. And you see Google provides you with a way to tell, okay, I want to have a pink uh, art theme, which is frolly, so it exists already. Um, you want more orange or you want more green. A green, we do have a green and more dark green. So here you see the 16 million choices you can have. And maybe we could make a blue one together. We have already a Tori, which is more this kind of color. Uh, a purple so we could choose one of these 16 million colors and then move about in here to tell what kind of red or pink we want to have so that's one way of doing it there's also color picking and color hex and all that all these websites there's gpic and so on so you decided a color uh well this is standing here so Control c you say that's gonna be the color and it's already in here. That is the color of this, that couldn't be better. So if we would say, Eric, you said something about GPIC, well, then you say, this color of red, that's the one I want, and then it's called punch. So you say, it's gonna be this red. Well, we've changed the color of our arc theme. We're going to follow this wallpaper. It's an idea, it's just fun. It's 16 million colors to choose from. I just froze the wallpaper so it won't change. We're gonna keep this one for the time being. Okay, how can we get started? It says here we need to clone or download whatever you want. I'm a, well, a terminal guy, I suppose. So I'm gonna copy paste this here. So this is copy paste, so my color is gone again. But anyway, uh, I'll have it later on. Then normally I would say just go work on your desktop and everything that's on here. You can get rid of it later, but this is your workplace. Right mouse click. And let's navigate and push things to the side. That's the workflow. And then you say get me, clone me from there, everything. So get me this thing that's up there. The guys who have uh, gone to phase two and three they know that we use GitHub to uh, get our scripts in. So that's what we do. Git clone me everything. Get me everything from there. So this is all we need. Eight scripts and then we're done. So our present working directory is desktop. When I do a list, I'm, I see that there's a folder. I need to be inside the folder. So I say change directory. And I'm now inside the folder. That's a little bit thermal stuff. Okay, I'm gonna run this one, this one, and so on. And it, everything is explained on the website. Not that page, but this page. So, install the software you will need. 
Okay, so we're going to need things to install. In Arch Merge, that is not that much. But on Arch Merge, we had a little bit more because we did not install stuff. So in everything starts with installation, and then you say the number. One, and then tap. And let's go ahead. He asks me to install stuff. And we have skipped everything, it seems. So Git was there, Gnome Themes was there, GTK Engine Marine was there. So these two guys were not there on Arch Merged. Uh, so we had to install them just in order to be able to run these scripts. So what did, what did this script do? So it's going to go a little bit in detail as well. Let's open this thing up with Atom and tell him, I'll check together what is it going to do. It's going to figure out what system am I on. I am on is LSB release is, uh, installed. Then I can figure out or first install it. So install on the Pac-Man Arch based on Debian based and on Solos to check if LSB release is installed. Otherwise install. Then we can run and ask what is this? It is going to say Arch Merge. I did not check that. Here it is. We are working on Arch Merge, so check, yes, it works. So this uh, variable is actually the word Arch Merge. And if it's on Arch Merge, so this one, or Arch Merged, then make sure you install all these things, but everything was installed, so great. And then later on, we're gonna say, uh, well, a copy paste from well, cleaning up first, some cleaning up to do, and then we're going to copy and paste, well, git clone first, Eric, and then fixing arc theme, but because the arc theme is not open box ready. So our one third of our system is not working. So we're making arc theme compatible to open box. That's what this line is for. So that's that. We have indeed installed something and there is something new. Arc theme control H, going to hide the GitHub file folder. So this is Horst 3180, the latest version from today. Today is, voila, February. So these elements, with these things, you can build your own art theme. But this is still the blue icon theme. So what we're going to do is we're going to change our colors. So change the color. Use the script to change the color. Find yourself a nice color, GPEG or online, and put it in there. So, fine. So, ls. Indeed, there is a script called installation2, but it's not added yet. I have not changed it yet. So, let's change it first. If you don't change it, the blue becomes red. So, you already see something. So, it's this kind of red that I put in there. But we had chosen, no, it was gpic, we had chosen something. So, we wanted this punch color like so, and instead of the color that's in there already, I'm gonna say, you know what, take this color. And it's, it's a little bit different. It's this color that I'm taking, it's a little bit darker. It's not that heavy, not so, so hard. So a softer red, almost a brown red. Okay, fine. So what you do, and that's the only thing you do, it's strange, but that's the only thing you need to do, is change this thing here. Without hashtag, change the color. That's it. That's it. Save. Yes, please. Do save, otherwise you won't see anything. And then we're on installation 2. And now it's going over these elements. Now it's going over these fixes. So every time we find something blue or a variation of blue yeah, almost green but we have to change this and we change this fix one two three four five and we have uh, finished so everything has been uh, changed this means that every occurrence of that color that you see here so this color has been changed into this color that's the color we done in gpic uh, here it is so is that correct 
CO3, C45, CO3, 645. That's it. All right, that's correct. So everything blue is now kind of red. Let me show you. You go into the column, you take one of those and one of those. Voila. Everything blue has been changed. Everything blue has been changed. All right, so that's the power of these SVGs. I keep saying my Sardi icons and Surfing icons, there are SVGs, change the colors, do the scripts, and you have something new. That's just what we did here. We changed everything was blue, and we changed it back to red. If you don't believe me, it's quite easy. You can always start afresh. So we were at installation two. If you say, all right, right, Eric, I'm not sure if you're right. Let's do it again. Installation one, everything is gone again. Everything is deleted. Script number one, GTK two, everything is blue. You see? And the only thing we do, close without saving, is run script number two. Uh, we changed the red already. Yes, we did. And what happens now? Look, everything moves, and, and there's some movement here. It's going to go over all scripts, all, all, all elements. Everything inside common is going to be checked. If a color exists, then change it into red. If this color exists, then change it into red. So that's what happened now. And is now here. This is the RGBs. So red, green, blues. And the A stands for transparency. We need to change that as well. So let's show what we've got again red fine so we changed everything in red super but then in assets you'll see that everything is still blue look at the extension is a png pngs can't be changed it's it's, it's 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 rubbish really we can't use scripts to change these things so we need to delete them just plain to delete them next script is going to do that if we go back to up here where are you so delete old assets we've changed the colors and we will find more and that's maybe something i should explain also but we will delete all the assets let me show that before i delete it so in common there is gtk assets all these things are blue they will be deleted the idea is a rewrite of the script. Maybe you've, you've already done this uh, script and then you say, Eric, what did you do? There's a rewrite, a complete rewrite working with functions and my bash knowledge keeps growing and <laughs> know now how to make a function. Well, uh, it's, it's a way of thinking. So you send these two things, this line here is sent to here. I give him color one, I give him color two and it's going to change the colors. That's far more minimal than making copy pastes and all that so this is a bigger function that's for the transparency rgba now the idea is that you guys help me arc theme can be installed on all distros but i do not have the time to test it out on all distros and horse 3180 is continuously improving this arc theme so he makes new references to colors and then they don't show up in Arch Merch, they don't show up in Linux Mint, but they might show up in Solus. Just giving an example. So you can't go testing out all distros. So what you do is see in your files, in your Arc theme, here in the common, this is your going to be, this is going to be your Arc theme. If anywhere in here you say, Eric, I found something blue, like let's take this one, I found that's the red, that's my red, or another red, that's another red, I think. So if you find something blue in here, then you say to me, Eric, you forgot one. And there can be only two solutions, an RGBA one and the simple one, the RGB one. So you can, at any point in time, make yourself these changes. The only thing you have to do is copy paste this one. And you have to say, look, Eric, um, there's a new one. He 
change the code color code to DA. That's it, DA. For the computer, that's completely different. But now, every instance of this color will be changed also to red. That's the only thing you need to know. Copy paste these lines, change the color, done. Right? Same goes for the system in here. If you have a new RGBA color that you find, you say, okay, I'm gonna add this to the list for changes. It's not 38, but he decided to have 37. Wow. So this combination of color will be changed as well now into the red. That's what you can do for me. Tell me, look on Solus, Mate, we've done this. And we see there a little blue reference to the old color. Yeah? And you have to change the RGBA or the RGB. And that's it. And then you have it. So that's, um, I think, an improvement to the old script. And I hope you can help me make it perfect. Right. We ran installation 2. Uh, let's see, let's go down there. So delete all assets, fine. Is it deleted? No, it's still there. So the last thing I ran was the color. We're going to delete stuff. Check out the left side, boom, it's gone. We need to rebuild it. So we need to delete it, it's as simple as that. We need to delete it. But these things, that's the source. From these SVGs will make PNGs. But this one will take a long time. That long that I will just put the video on hold. So, we are here. We deleted everything. Remove, remove, remove. And now we're gonna make, an, well, we're going to follow the workflow from Horst. We never invented this. We're going to follow his scripts to render the assets to make these PNGs. And that's installation four. So that was three. And let's quick have a quick look. It's in GTK 2.0. In here, something's happening. You see? Wait till the color pops up. And then we can, voila. Here are the first red icons coming on along for checkboxes in your system. I don't know where we can find checkboxes. Maybe here. That's a checkbox. So instead of the blue one, we'll get. Uh, a red one. Nice. Like I said in the beginning of the script somewhere, it's uh, up here. It's time for you to take the coffee. I'm not kidding. It takes a while. It depends on your CPU and so on, but it takes a while. Even if you have a fast computer, it's going to build, I don't know, thousands of from SSV. SVG is going to make thousands of PNGs. So He'll have uh, some work to do. It's not CPU intensive, that's something else, but he's, he's working hard. We don't have a conkey yet, so let's activate the conkey too, just to show you it's not that 100% uh, or something for the CPU, but it does take time. Let's put this one on there. Uh, so CPU is 20%, so it's okay, and simple screen recorder is going away with 4%. So really, it's not that heavy, but okay. While we wait, I'll include a quick tutorial as well. Well, we need this punch color. I'm going to get it again. It doesn't look good with this conky. So I'm going to the conky. I have, it was, um, yeah, Nemesis. So AUR Nemesis. I just wanted to check what the name was again. So we double click this one and the blue color well it's definitely very clear when you open it in atom that's this one we change it to the red one save it and then we are ready as well here in respect to our look we'll get a red arc theme with a red wallpaper with a red icon here uh, as conky i mean so the only thing we have to do now is just press on pause because we have to wait till everything is rendered. All right, the script is done here. That means that uh, we have to go back and check out maybe what's what's been created. So 
all these elements let's go for the very last one 322 and assets everything has been created great everything is red and everything is ready to be installed well it's gonna be anyway the next script oops so this one was installation 4 installation 5 is going to be building an installation of the theme okay you can take a look at the code itself if it's still open and it's not what we're going to do in installation 5 is actually follow the workflow of Horst this is the command you'll find on github from Horst what I'll do is fix something more for uh, GTK2 applications for Sublime Text and for our open box stuff because we have Arch Merge open box so we need these scripts there as well or these files fine let's go ahead let's install installation 5 so this is not me this is Horst's program making everything and then we do some stuff and we say solutions to fix the issues and configuring open box files and so on so that's done we have now already a new file and it's written in the user share themes it's there already we can have a quick peek so this arc this one is new and that one and that one that's those have been created but these guys are well the red guys and it's strange that are not called arc red or something so that's the workflow flow we have to follow excuse me from host so it's no problem there what can we do and that's next uh, script the next script says if this was five then this is six the next script still open no no close story already well the next script is going to ask us look let's copy paste everything and let's rename everything because the arc theme it's no longer arc theme it is not so let's give it our own name and in this case uh let's see still open yep bunch great name i use often the name from gp so are we going to create a bunch arc theme that's the only thing you have to do remember to have a capital letter and it's going to create three files let's before i press enter let's go to the dot themes nothing in here enter so I've created, I've copy pasted the arc and the arc darker and the arc dark and I've created them here. So we can now select an actual personal theme with the name Punch. Yeah. Well, we could do that right now. Why not? So we keep working with arc punch. So arc dark, as you can see already here, arc is this, this red thing. You see arc crimson. Um, our dark and our dark this is our red but we have also created now a new one arch punch dark and that's actually the one you need to select now and this is what we created now since the arch theme has been overwritten we want the art theme back so that's uh, that's all this thing so six was that and then we're gonna erase a seven and we're gonna get our blue one back that's the last things we do that's just more like a cleanup so this is number six installation seven is getting rid of your own personal red thing in user share themes because we have it here we have it in themes here eric dot themes that's where everything is and we're gonna install the new well the latest blue version of arc straight from the github couldn't be any better there you go so let's be sure that i'm right if you go to appearance this is still there of course arch punch dark which is because it's coming from here but i created again arc and arc is blue arc dark is blue and arc darker is blue so everything is fixed again and we are very proud to have now an arch 
sponge dart. And now it's up to you to see in your system, is there anything blue? Is anything forgotten? And that's what you can add to your script number two and say, oh yeah, there's a code in blue, copy paste, add the blue line, and then you have figured it out for yourself. But please, if you do, give me feedback, put it on the GitHub so I can make the scripts better for everyone. All right, enjoy your uh, scripting experience and enjoy your new Arc theme. Ciao.